What's going on, you warriors? Mr. Waffles here, and today I have my Gohan deck against uh, this Goku deck right here. And um, it's crazy because the person I think obviously has good cards because you can tell by the sleeves, which I think you don't get just by um, just by uh, chance or anything. You pretty much have to like work your way up and buy them. So, uh, so I'm pretty sure you have pretty good cards. I'm gonna take this damage right here, and uh, I'm basically just grinding. I'm really just trying to get some cards, get some uh, packs and stuff, so that way I can just get better cards all around. So uh, I guess I'll just lay down this right here, and then. So with my Gohan power, if he he has a strike ability, which means if he deals damage to a, an opponent's leader. I draw an additional card, so I'm attacking with the Gohan first, simply because um, I don't want to attack with my Yamcha, give him two energy, and then he can block my Gohan. I'm just trying to basically force the um, the damage to get the extra card. So let's see what he's gonna do here. All right, so he's gonna take it. <clears throat> so I get an extra card, which is good. And then I'm gonna attack my Yamcha. So again, I still have basic vanilla cards because I'm again just pretty much grinding and trying to uh, break through and just get what I can. So most uh, effects like the Goku here um, usually unleash at level, uh, sorry, at three damage. Where my Gohan is at four, so I'm pretty much going to be careful how I attack next turn, simply because uh, if I attack my Gohan and I attack my Yamcha, he can just unleash and block my Yamcha attack pretty much. So uh, it's just knowing when to attack and the right time. So most of these cards, I really don't know what they do, but oh, he gets that, so that's pretty cool. And it gets a boost. Okay, that's pretty pretty insane. What? Wow. That's ridiculous. That's pretty awesome. So it shows, again, guys, that um, this game is not just about vanilla cards. Um, there's a lot of depth to it, especially when you have certain cards with effects. Again, I am just have like the vanilla cards simply because I'm working my way up. So... But this person obviously clearly has a certain theme and a certain deck to begin with. So. So when you attack, he gets a pump. Uh, so I'm just going to take the damage. And he attacked in a, a good order because... By him, if he attacked with the Vegeta, I would have been at four. And then if he attacked with the, um, the uh, it's not Octane, but whatever his name is, um, he could easily um, not get as much value. So I'm going to unleash here. So he's not going to do anything. So I got to unleash. And uh, I'm gonna drop that. I'm not sure if he's gonna swing with the Vegeta or what, but uh, next turn I'm pretty much gonna lay down my hand um, and just. Uh, pretty much snipe out like I'm gonna use Gohan to attack him all the time because he has three crit or three damage so essentially I can just basically force him to to do something so I'm just gonna block here with the Vegeta 
Oh, I'm retarded. That was my fault. I took damage for no reason, and that. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, and still has to attack with that. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm just gonna take it. I'll go down to one. Doesn't look good for me. Numbers, people. Simple, but. Yep. So going to the next phase. So here I'm. He has zero. So basically, just trying to force him to block and use his, use up his resources. So he's probably going to use the Vidal and something else. And then these guys are just going to attack, kill, try and kill his board. I don't care about um, so much attacking him because he's at four. Hmm. What? See, again, I, I don't know any of these cards, what they do. Otherwise, I would attack him first, but it's whatever. Um, so then this is going to attack that. Attack that. This is going to attack that. It's going to end my turn. Because he only has four, so I didn't want to give him any more resources than he needed to. Especially that I can just kind of put pressure with this Gohan. All I have to do is just pretty much block his Goku. And right now he's probably going to go for the face, which I would do. And these are called um, extra cards. So they have like a certain uh, ability that they do. So again, the game adds a, a lot of other different elements, which I can see them adding more because they have their groundwork pretty well thought out. So, I think this card like searches for something like discards and then, yeah, that's, okay. This is ridiculous. Like, this is just nutty. Like, there's nothing to really say. It bounces, puts that, gets another one. No, this is way too good. Yo, this is just, I'm getting bodied right now. And I love it just because it's cool to really see what certain decks can do. I'm getting bodied. It seems like yellow is a really good style for, um, for this game. Because I think it's all about um, bringing out guys and like swapping guys and stuff. Uh, blue is about like um, getting more energy or whatever. Red's about like power and green. I think it. So he dealt damage to himself regardless. So got me good. Hmm. It's about to go in. It's about to go in. Well, I lose. It's an honor to be defeated by Super Saiyan God Blue Goku. Now he's going in. He draws a card when something put in the melee zone. That's re uh, Yo, every time? 
Yo! This is, yo, this is insane. <laughs> this is really insane. That card is just, whatever this guy is, that card is just nutty. Straight up nutty. It, it probably is, like, if your leader is yellow, do something. What? And he gets to put himself... Look at this. You think I can block this, guys? Nah, I gotta take it. Take it like a champ. Look at how many cards in his hand. Wow. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Well, I hopefully you guys enjoy that, because that was definitely fun. That was uh, intense just to see how much draw power the deck has. And keeping the field. Like, that was just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And, uh, again, I'm not salty in any way, just because I know my deck can't really compete to other decks. Because, again, they're really just vanilla. It's just uh, If you look at the stats, it's just... Uh, the cost is 2 to 1500 you know, that's a basic, like, um, cost 2 card, um, but as you can see, his guys had a bunch of effects, the deck worked very well, you know, he, he saw the synergy with the, the Goku, it, it was great, I'm really happy, I can't wait for these cards to come out, and, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, so, again, I, I can really do these daily, um, so, tomorrow I'll put up a new one, so, until next time, see warriors, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, Mr. Waffles, signing out, again, that was just nutty.